hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliana and today again in a new well today is new really in a new scenery so i thought i would film um, the videos of december near my christmas tree in my nativity so today i'm going to talk about um my first reading of a thematic uh, set of books that I chose. I posted uh, a photo on my Instagram where I showed you the books that I chose to read in the month of December or at least liberate videos in the month of December. So and today the book that I'm going to talk about is A Country Christmas by Miss Reed. So, this is a collection of stories by Miss Reed uh, during, that are passing by the winter season and the majority of the stories contained in this collection are passing during the Christmas time. So, this dates of 1950s the stories I mean when they were published so they are a bit old and I well I thought to buy this book and try this author Miss Reed because Miranda Mills I talked about her in my channel already she likes very much of uh, this author of this author and she recommends it a lot uh, during this season uh, books of Miss Reed so I thought well if I'm going to do a themed reading in in 23 well why not why not to try it so I went to my usual online library where I, I buy my books well okay I usually buy my books in second hand because they are cheaper, of course, but uh, in all the sites that I usually buy from, none of them have books by Miss Reed. So I went to a um, bookshop, not library, a bookshop, online bookshop, where I usually buy my books and I research for Miss Reed. And one of the books, I thought that was it the only one now i don't remember i buy i bought this in september so it was a while ago but they had few books by this author but one of the books that they had was a country christmas and i thought well this will be fun for you know the winter season well we are in autumn still but you know what i mean so the christmas time and well that's what i did i bought it as you can see and i read it and okay so this has six stories if i'm not mistaken let me check so this contains village christmas the fairy Girl ghost christmas at Ka calais 1913 jingle bells the white robin tales from a village school one thing that i wanted to Tell you now I remembered so all of the stories contained in this collection pass in Fairacre that is a um, invented imaginary village in England so this is invented by by Miss Reed and all of the um, of the stories passed in that villa or that village uh, and so, as I was saying, the first one, Village Christmas, is about two sisters, middle-aged, that are they, they live together in in Fairacre. Something new that is passing in Fairacre is the welcoming of a couple with children. So they are new in the village, and the sisters talk about this couple and. How, because they meet them and they meet the children and you know it's um, 
a buzz in the village because of this couple you know because they are new in so and everyone talks about them but for some situations that occur we get to understand that the woman has a bit of tr troubled she's a bit troubled and during christmas the the husband so the father of the children had to go to a funeral if i'm not mistaken uh, and so the wife stayed at home alone with the children and the two sisters helped her taking care of the children so they passed christmas not in their own house but in the house of their neighbors and so that's a whole thing about it and you know how it was a different because they were a bit solid solidified in their customs in their traditions and so on and so when the neighbors came along it was a bit of a um, shake to the sisters and after they had to pass christmas with them <laughs> taking care of the children um, it was like a, real a realization to them that the this was the christmas spirit so they were doing a good thing you know so i'm not going to tell everything but this is the general point of the story then one of my one no the favorite story in this collection for me was the second one the fair raker ghost so this is about a man who lost his family so his wife and his son and he he's a musician he he works for the choir of the church of the village and he has an encounter so so the story begins with people walking together in a in the village and some the the man, a man i think there are three people uh, two men and one woman uh, and one of the men is telling a story his life his life or a, a situation that he passed through and so he tells um, that he found a ghost <laughs> but then we there is a whole story behind why the ghost appears and we get to know the story of the ghost and there is a connection between the, the story of the ghost and the story of the man who seen the ghost. This story is very poignant. Perhaps it's not for... well... How can I explain it? If you, if you ha have experienced loss in... You know, recent times, perhaps you shouldn't read this one. So the next story that I'm going to talk about is the white robin. So yeah, <laughs> there are a bit of sad stories in this collection. <laughs> so for Christmas, I was hoping to be a bit cheerful or more cheerful, but you know, well. So the white robin is about a school teacher that um, is in the village of a fair acre and something appears so a bird a little bird a little robin appears in the surroundings of the school where she works and the special thing about this robin is that he's white and so the whole village is excited when they hear hear the news that a white robin is surrounding Fairacre. Everyone gets excited, the children get excited and everyone wants to see this bird. And so this teacher, uh, she lives near the school in a house uh, specially for her to live. And in the, her garden she leaves seeds and uh, in the in a center that she has in her garden to to attract the robin and well eventually the robin appears and she has the opportunity to see the bird and then they they 
uh, she does the same thing uh, in the surroundings of the school so the, to the children have the opportunity to see the bird so then she is asked to accommodate uh, a boy who has his mother sick and so she does he she uh, accommodates him and she welcomes welcomes him so she he's the nephew i think of a couple of the town of the village and she realizes that he is having behaviors a bit not rebellious but you know he's a bit jealous when she would praise a child or a student for a drawing or for anything she would notice that he would be jealous in a way that he would be making a face or something you know and well he does something I'm not going to make make hints because that would spoil the story but he will do something that is very reprehensible but she doesn't lash at him of course but you know it will bring sadness to the children to the other students and well to the village in a whole but well, this is also a very sad story, I thought, but I really enjoyed this one. Well, what I thought about the whole collection. Um, I was a bit disappointed, I have to say. I think this is not really my style. I like Miranda a lot, but I'm realizing it that in some aspects we are not very similar in your in our tastes regarding to reading or books so of course <laughs> yesterday i would say that i will never read misread again but today well perhaps at least one more book i should give it a, ch a shot right at least a second read right so i i can really say no i don't like this author right well what can i say it's not that the stories that i didn't like any of the stories like as you can see the the stories that i told you were the stories that i enjoyed more i, or I enjoyed the most i'm sorry this is a cozy reading of course this has sad stories so i wasn't expecting that I thought this will be more joyful and well what can I say I didn't know what I was really expecting actually you know because I never read like themed readings or theme stories or Christmassy type stories perhaps in my childhood of course in school or something but as an adult I never have read Christmas stories or stories surrounding Christmas, shall we say, or passing during Christmas. So, you know, I don't know. It didn't really work for me. I thought that I don't want to sound snob, but the story sounded or appeared to me a bit, I don't know, not enough. You know what I mean? Of course, these of all were short stories, so it wasn't... I'm kind of realizing that perhaps short stories are not for me. Or at least some of, some of them, or some type of stories don't work for me. Short stories, I mean. For instance, The Death of Ivan Illich by Tolstoy was awesome. I loved it. Because for me that type of story or that story in particular the short story has how can i explain it um a more profound purpose i'm sounding snob i'm sorry that's not what i intend to to pass by but the type of writing also was a bit far away from me 
I don't know, of course, there are classics that are from many years ago and I enjoy them. So I'm not trying to say that just because this author is a bit old, that is not, it, it does not have quality. But for me at least, I don't think it worked so well. Uh, I read this in English, of course, and I, as you can see, and in some stories I found a bit confusing. Well, the stories were a bit boring for me. In exception of the three stories that I talked to you about, um, I found the other ones innocuous. I'm sorry, if I, I'm really sounding snob, but <laughs> I don't know, it didn't... Mm, I didn't feel anything for them and I didn't came at the end of the reading finding that I reflected on, on something or that I took something, something from the story, you know. I thought, well, reading for reading and not anything else, you know. So, yeah, I'm so sorry if you enjoy Miss Read and you are thinking what is she talking about i i totally understand you perhaps this is just a matter of taste and i think that's what it is or at least this type of short stories by miss reed are not my thing so completing the the thought that i was telling you about about the short stories and so on i think i'm a more novel type of person you know with a a lengthy story that has the opportunity to be more profound and more developed, you know. Uh, because the short stories sometimes sound to me like short. How can I say it? That something is missing, you know. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I'm so sorry if I, if I sounded really snob. I think I did. But I hope you forgive me and you understand what I was trying to say. But of course, this doesn't take anything away from you reading this book. Perhaps for you it will work better and you will enjoy the stories better. So give it a try. And yeah, let me know if you have read anything from me, sweet. And if you have, please recommend me the best novel from her of course i can go to miranda and well s search for the book that she recommends from miss reed but um i wanted to to hear from you let me know what you what you recommend from miss reed and if you recommend any other story or any other book by any other author surrounding Christmas that you think I will like because perhaps next year or the, the next few years I will bring those to the channel and well I hope to find stories that work better for me so yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can see all my posts or whenever I post, leave a like, it helps a lot of the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the next one. Bye!